contract which bags I wore for an entire year and it were more than 60 different ones. Hi and very welcome! My name is Mary, this is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. And I thought one step to more mindfulness with consumption and more appreciation for what I already do own, which is a lot, could be to track an entire year which bags out of my collection I actually do use and how often. The results were kinda shocking. I now have to present to you more than 60 different bags that were in my rotation in the year of 2022. So I started this tracking project on the 1st of January until the 31st of December. Very old school, I did it all with a notebook, a pen and keeping a tally, which was not the most clear, structured and organized and which ended up being a lot of chaos and work to put together this video. But I'm glad I did. I enjoyed the process of tracking quite a lot and I want to do it again this year, but this time I want to go digital with it. But that might be its own video topic because I'm currently in the process of trying out a virtual wardrobe app. This video idea of tracking bags for an entire year is a very long planned collaboration with my YouTube friend Danny from the channel This Is Danny O. Her take on it is linked down in the description box and at the end of this video. Already at the end of 2021 we started chatting about bag tracking and somehow came up with the idea to do it for an entire year and then share our results in a collab video early January. So here we are! Danny decided to share her most worn bags with you and I couldn't decide myself so I set up a poll and asked you if you would like to see just the most worn ones with a little story about each bag or if you would actually like to see all of them. It was a head-to-head -head race between both options for quite a while, but in the end show us all one. So that's what I'm going to do. To keep in mind here I was still working from home 95% of the times in home office, so there were quite some days when I didn't leave the house at all or quite some when I just went to the supermarket or running errands just quickly grabbing whatever bag. So it is not all just going to be luxury designer handbags. This is going to be a very real life unstaged mix of contemporary brands, luxury handbags and even some fast fashion like Zara and H&M. The stats up front. In one year I wore 63 handbags for 193 times in total. 36 of them were different luxury designer handbags that I wore in total for 119 times. 19 of them were different contemporary high street brands that I wore in total for 57 times and eight of them were different fast fashion or no-name brand bags that I wore a total of 18 times. Overall, I'm very glad that I actually do use my expensive luxury designer brand bags the most and that I made it to 193 bag wears out of 365 days a year in 2022. So that at least means that I left the house more than every second day. Yay! I don't know if my life will ever get more busy again, because I have to be completely honest here, I actually do enjoy the work from home situation a lot. I'm going to quickly show you each bag now with one very short sentence, because we have to cover 63 of them. My frame was set for small to medium bags because that were the ones I had to show you most of. So unfortunately for very big bags the frame won't work perfectly. Please excuse that you have no idea how much work it was to get all of these bags out for this video and film them and put all of this together in one video even with just filming one frame setting. We are going to start with the least worn bags and working our way up to the most worn ones of the year. But you have to keep in mind here that the 63 bags I did wear last year are by far not all of the bags in my collection. I do have quite some that will not even show up in this video because I haven't worn them a single time in 2022. And that applies to quite some of my high-end luxury designer bags from Yves Saint Laurent, a lot of Louis Vuitton and even Chanel. And I will show you two Louis Vuitton mini pochettes from my quite big collection of mini pochettes but that's the ones I actually wore as a mini bag, as a handbag, not just as an SLG catch-all inside of a bag. So let's get this started! I present to you 22 bags that I wore once in 2022. I started the year off with my neon pink Rebecca Minkoff mini mag that I wore on New Year's Eve. 
Kurt Geiger Mini Kensington in a Blush Pink Nude with Jewels and a Crossbody Chain. The Louis Vuitton Petillon Clutch in Bordeaux Red Empreinte Leather. My Jimmy Choo Wallet on the Chain Clutch with Studs. Another Rebecca Minkoff Patent Leather Bag with a lot of zippers and a crossbody strap. A Carefree H&M Crossbody Satchel Bag made out of genuine leather. The Louis Vuitton Transatlantic Mini Pochette in Damier Azur. The Louis Vuitton Trunks and Locks Mini Pochette in Monogram Canvas. A fringy suede ASOS backpack. My original vintage basket bag that looks like the Kult Gaia one. A white Coco Boss crossbody leather bag that my husband gifted to me years ago. A Zara straw beach bag that I wore for a day at the beach. Another Rebecca Minkoff piece, this backpack with fringes. A glittery no-name clutch that I wore to a wedding. The condition of the bag now is quite poor, so I'm probably going to let go of that bag soon. A bag that I bought pre-loved, only wore once and then had to return it because it had quite some issues that were not mentioned in the description. I don't have that bag with me anymore, so I just took a clip from another video that I filmed for you when I discovered the issues and put that clip into this video, doing a little voiceover. If you are interested in everything that was wrong with that bag, check out a video that is linked down in the description box where I share all the flaws it had, cause it was not just a little scratch on the hardware. The only MCM bag I currently have in my collection, this vintage camera bag in dark blue. Too big for the frame, my vintage Louis Vuitton keyboard. A stunning beauty, the Jimmy Choo Titania Satin Clutch in Blush Pink. A Dolce & Gabbana Potato Shopper Tote. A shocker to me that I only wore that bag once, my monogram Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. A black vintage Eigner crossbody bag. The mini Fendi peekaboo with sequins and a long crossbody strap. 10 bags I wore twice. A brown Love Moschino tote bag that is perfect for work because it holds a lot. Another Rebecca Minkoff mini Mac in light pink that I got for my birthday from my sister I think last year. A Bordeaux Red Mock Croc Massimo Dutti Tote that would make a perfect work tote as well. I don't know why I haven't worn it more often. I've been doing some outdoor stuff and hiking last year. That's why I had some more practical bags as well, like this Zara Khaki Backpack. Another Rebecca Minkov Mini Mac in grey suede. Gigantic Freeze and Company blue tote bag that could work as a weekender as well. My Speedy Bee in the sepia colored ideal fabric that has currently a bag shaper in it. A YSL mini pochette in taupe. A Puma Nylon Fanny Pack that yet again I took for hiking and outdoor adventures as well as a huge black backpack that I borrowed from my husband for exactly these outdoor hiking adventures as well. Eight bags that I wore for three times. Another Rebecca Minkoff Mac bag but this time in the bigger medium size in teal green with champagne golden hardware. Boring but very practical Röckel taupe collared leather work tote, which went to Paris with me. Somewhat hard to believe, but I'm still using my 2000s Jimmy Choo Ramona bag in cognac beige. 
I fell so in love with the Louis Vuitton Vivant that I bought pre-loved so that I wore it even though it definitely does need some repair and it currently is at Louis Vuitton for repair so I can't show you the bag in person. Purchased quite late in the year the Louis Vuitton Pochette Felici in Damier Azur with the pink interior and both matching inserts. A Tiffany & Co wallet on a chain clutch bag, which is more a wallet on a strap. Purchased late December my Tiffany & Co leather shopping paper bag. A bag I haven't shared with you yet, a black mock croc Kurt Geiger medium Kensington bag. I will keep the strap inside because it makes too much noise, but it has a sparkly shoulder pad for the strap. 30 bags made it to four wares. My Caviar Leather Chanel Jumbo Single Flap with silver hardware. The Aigna Dora Mini Diadora Leather Bag with pearl details and champagne golden hardware. Another bag I can't show you live anymore, so I just took a clip and do a little voiceover is my Longchamp Les Pliage Filet Bag, because after using it a few times, I quickly realized that I want to sell it. My Rose Poudre Arma BB from Louis Vuitton in EP leather, which went with me to Paris. A bag that looks like Balenciaga, but it isn't one, but it is real leather and a nice made bag. Another bag that looks quite a lot like a Balenciaga, but it's not. I did stain the bottom very badly this year, so I'm quite happy this is not a Balenciaga. My only Dooney and Burke bag, the very structured Ambler with a lot of compartments. And somewhere there should be the crossbody strap. A perfect structured work tote, my Mansour Gabriel nude blush pink sun tote, which has some coins inside and is too big to fit the frame. The Louis Vuitton IFA clutch in Damier Azur. I do have the matching crossbody leather strap, but I don't took it with me for this video. My most used beach bag of the year, this Dior inspired book tote by H&M. The vintage Gucci boat baguette bag that I got authenticated last year. I scored it at the flea market for a very good price and it turned out to be authentic. My XXL Versace Virtus clutch. The Louis Vuitton Electric AP Sauvage Patent Leather Clutch with a shoulder strap. I wore that bag to New Year's Eve this year. Only three bags have been worn five times. A bag I had forever, my Prada Black Grained Leather Tote Bag. It was a work bag this year that I took to the office quite often. My Louis Vuitton Pochette Métisse in pink Empreinte Leather. Worn five times this year. My Louis Vuitton Pochette Métisse in red empreinte leather. Worn only five times this year as well. Two bags have been worn six times in 2022. One of my ride and die forever bags, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in Damier Azur. My most worn Rebecca Minkoff bag of the year, the black mini Mac with champagne golden hardware. Fun fact, this one was my first Rebecca Minkoff bag. Two bags have been worn seven times. The Christmas present in 2021 from my husband, the Pochette Felici from Louis Vuitton in turtle dove on pond leather. A bag that totally won over my heart in the past year is the Kurt Geiger Medium Kensington in tweed with sparkly sequins and golden hardware. Surprisingly, there are no bags that I wore 8 times, 9 times or 10 times and just one bag that I wore for 11 times. An underdog that did an amazing job, this vintage Yacht leather shopper, which is the softest leather. I took that bag whenever I went to a flea market in 2022, so I guess that's why it got quite a lot of use. This bag holds a lot and is very understated. It's still so soft. Which already leads us to the category with the most uses. 
with 12 wares on two different bags. It does not really come as a surprise to me that my Neverfull in Damier Iben was one of the most worn bags in the year. I just love a good big tote. And whilst Damier Iben tends to be more of a fall-winter color combination for me, the Fendi Roll Tote in white with the multicolor Zucker print made it to my number one spring-summer shopping tote and to one of the most used bags of the year. The results of this backtracking for an entire year were kind of surprising for me in many ways, kind of shocking in some ways. I'm positively surprised that I did manage to get such a big variety into my bag uses and that I switched up quite a lot and came to 63 different handbags, which is kind of shocking on one hand as well that I even own that many and probably just as many if not even more again that I did not even wear a single time in the past year. I can especially think of quite some Louis Vuitton bags. I'm as well quite surprised that some of the bags I thought I wear a ton only came to little wear like my red Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse. I thought it's one of my most used bags, but I only wore it five times in the entire year of 2022. And I'm very surprised, if not even very shocked, that even my very most worn bags only come to 12 wears a year. If the maximum you wear a bag is 12 times a year, is that even worth spending thousands on any bag out there? I'm not the biggest fan of that whole cost per wear concept, but if you have a whole lot of stuff and you try to rotate to give everything some use and then you rotate a lot, you won't come to many use for each single item. Very shocking to me as well. I didn't wear my black Speedy B in the Epileather from Louis Vuitton a single time in the entire year of 2022, even though I picked this bag to be my one and only bag for the one bag tag, if I had to choose one for the rest of my life. I do have some thoughts on how and why that happened, without me even noticing it, but that might be a topic for another video. In general, I think the results of this tracking might give some rise for discussion, analysis, and probably even a change in my behavior, hopefully. So there might come quite some follow-up videos in some shape, kind or form. If any of the bags I showed you in this video made you curious, check out the description box, cause I did film separate videos on quite some of the bags. So they do have their own video on my channel and I can't put these little info icons for all of them cause it's just too many and YouTube allows just to recommend five videos in one video. Now I'm very curious to watch Danny's video and find out which bags she used the most and how often she did use her most used bags in the past year, if it's just 12 times as well. Because I don't think that's too much of an accomplishment on my side. Thank you so much for watching, hope to see you next time, and bye! I was going for a beach wavy look today, but I'm not sure <laughs> if I managed to do so or if it just looks greasy. Well, I can't change it now anymore. I tracked with... <laughs> Rise for some discussion, analysis, analysis. To watch next, here you find Danny's take on the collab. Definitely check it out. And if you come over from Danny's channel, here you can subscribe. <laughs>